Okay, welcome back. So we're going to continue with working with our pivot table. And in this How Do I video, we want to add a second field for grouping purposes. And we want to do this so that we can see the products that we sold by the country in which we sold them to and the salesperson who sold them. So what we can do is take our uh, fields over here. We're going to add another field. So I'm going to check off country. You can see again by default it goes into the row labels area and this goes in a hierar hierarchical manner here and it goes product name first and country second and then to the columns salesperson third. What's great about the pivot table is the ability to toggle or switch the information quickly and easily for a different analysis of the data. So if I wanted to actually see country first and then the product I sold within that country, I could just drag and drop country above product name. And now I'm looking at the data in a totally different way. It's the same information. It's the same source, but it's a completely different way to analyze how my sales went by country and by product. So these quick, easy pivots are one of the greatest features of the pivot tables you get flexible and fast ability to look at the data differently. When I have these two levels of grouping going on here, I get the little minus sign next to each country in this case. I can individually click the minus sign or I can come up here and on the options tab I could collapse the entire field. Well now I'm able to look at the data including grand totals and see it from a parent level which in this case is country or the child level which is product name by coming back and clicking the plus sign next to any one of these so I can get that flexibility again uh, it, it goes to print very easily in that sense and I can have both levels available to me and toggle around as needed we also get the nice features of filtering now I'm gonna go ahead and expand back to all of these fields so we can see them all and let's say I really only wanted to know by country and then by product the information for the, my salespeople whose name was Andrew Fuller and Ann Dodsworth, my first two salespeople. So using the field list to the right of any field you get a drop down arrow and if I go to that salesperson field and hit the drop down I get a filter and sort box that is the same filter and sort box you would get anywhere else within Excel. And I can uncheck select all maybe check off the first two salespeople here and now I've got a nice compact pivot table report that I can use and get the answers I need. So that's how we do multiple fields and filtering within a pivot table. Come back for the next example of the How Do I Pivot Table series and we'll have some more good tips for you.